Hello, Thomas, whistled Percy. You look splendid. Yes, indeed, boasted Thomas. Blue is the only proper color for an engine. Oh, I don't know. I like my brown paint, said Toby. Bullshit, lion asshole. You love it and you know it. I often wonder why there's no blue food, added Percy. Every other color is well represented in the food kingdom. Blue cheese? Nice try. It's actually white cheese with blue mold. Everyone knows that. And so, I wouldn't want to be any other color either. Well, well, anyway, huffed Thomas. Jesus doesn't really love you. Percy said no more. He just grinned at Toby. Then along came Sir Topham Hatt, the man in charge of all the engines on the island of Sodor. He once claimed the most difficult thing he ever did was to take a shit in a phone booth without removing his overcoat. That which doesn't kill me makes me stronger, smiled Duck. James bustled in. I got something a little more realistic for you. That which doesn't kill me still may sever my spinal cord, crush my rib cage, cave in my skull, and leave me helpless and paralyzed, soaking in a puddle of my own waste. Put that on your t-shirt, touchy-feely new age asshole. George took no notice. There was barely room to pass. Attention, asshole, said Sir Handel. You drive like old people fuck. Slow and sloppy. Where are you going? asked Percy. Porn shops, crack houses, titty bars, and gangbangs, said Percy's driver. I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. I ain't sticking around this fucking place after hours, I'll tell you that right now, thought Percy. Driver says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. Everybody's a God-fearing, law-abiding asshole now, said Thomas. Relax, enjoy the show, take a fucking chance, put a little fun into your life. When it was time to leave, the Queen spoke specially to Thomas, who fetched her coaches. This entire country is completely full of shit and always has been, said Thomas. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Drinking beer, taking a shit, and passing out, grunted Gordon. People ask me if I have an email address, and I say www.fuckyou.com at blow me slash up your ass, said Sir Topham Hatt, and they seem to understand. But I'm used to new coaches, not these cattle cars. If you want to express emotion, screaming is where it's at, grunted Gordon. Percy and Duck like working at the harbor by the sea. The best thing about living at the seashore is that you only have assholes on three sides of you, sighed Duck. The workman gave him some cake. Please stop fucking with my desserts, said Henry unhappily. You'll never guess what I saw last night. I'm a busy engine. I don't have time for your games. A Boy Scout master who works at a dildo shop. Bertie skidded into the yard. Holy shit, look out, here comes a drunken bus. Holy shit, that was close. Cars will be cars, laughed James. They won't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. Eat shit, motherfucker. Another day's rest will do you good, he said. Besides, I've got a surprise for you. For me, sir? How nice, sir. What is it, sir? I'm gonna have my testicles laminated. If we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse, and then you'd have no passengers at all. What would you do then? Smoke a bong full of Fruit Loops and just go back to bed, retorted Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt was having breakfast. Honey, did you fart? Not me. I thought you farted. Not me? Wait a minute, I know. The dog farted. Look at him. Look how guilty he looks. He knows he farted. Fusspot, fusspot, replied Falcon. Fuddy-duddy, fuddy-duddy, fuddy-duddy. Fuck you, Puff Duke. I'm really a cool guy and not just some old fuddy-duddy. I'm Trevor. They're going to break me up next week. What kind of medieval bullshit is that, said Edward. Driver says that the person in charge of the mail has complained to Sir Topham Hatt about the delay last night. Why don't we just kill these fucking people? Replied Percy. I know, said Thomas. Then he saw Sir Topham Hatt. 
Some jokes are funny, but not this one, James. Fuck you, I think it's hilarious. The player shouted, but Stepney was still too far away for his driver and fireman to see or hear properly. They completely misunderstood. Broke it all excited and start rolling around causing trouble in your electric go-kart or whatever the fuck it is, said the driver. Calm down. The fact that a lot of people actually like the music automatically means it sucks, rumbled Duncan. We shall take away your rails, he said, and leave you here until you're ready to come out of the tunnel. Something I really don't like is that stop-action animation junk. Why don't they can that shit? It's fake-looking, and it detracts from the story. And Thomas began to cry. Now let me hear you crying, or I'll come up there and give you something to cry about, said his driver. No wimps, no pussies, no softies. Listen, boys, the fireman called. Here's a song for Percy. Oh, say can you see Floggy Bloom Skeldo Prunk What so proudly we hailed Clog a drunk's learn clam dong blench